in the 40s in Boston, chillier in the suburbs. You may be waking up. It is chilly there, but guess what, everybody? The good news is this is going to be a pretty nice day. I mean, the sun's up and shining. Yes, it's in the 30s right now in some of the suburbs, but we're going to make a nice rebound later. It's going to be a beautiful spring day out there. So for most of us here, we're going to want to soak it in. The rain is going to move in by the time we get to tomorrow. So satellite and radar shows just a couple clouds through Western Mass, Connecticut, down through Rhode Island. We'll get a few of these that filter through the sunshine today, but expect bright blue skies and just a couple puffy cumulus clouds through the course of the afternoon. If you zoom out the view, it's back to the west that we're dealing with areas of rain. It's down through, uh, just had flooding in Texas yesterday. It's down through Arkansas now and Louisiana. It does extend into Pennsylvania, and then there's another front coming in from the west. Both of these features are going to combine and bring us our rainfall for tomorrow. Not today, though. Look at the high temperatures topping out in the 60s for most of us today, 55 to 60 at the coast. So it will be cooler right along the immediate shore. And that's because there's going to be a sea breeze, wind off the ocean, keeping us a little cooler through the day today. Overnight tonight, clouds increase. We become mostly cloudy. Overnight lows drop back into the 40s for most of us. It won't be as chilly in the suburbs overnight tonight. And then let's time out the rain for tomorrow. It looks like in the morning, we may be mainly dry until about 8 or 9 a.m. And that's when we see some scattered showers move in. By midday to early afternoon, still some scattered activity. It's off and on, though, so it's not pouring the whole day. 7 p.m., I've stopped things there because of the Sox game. It looks like we may be able to sneak it in, depending on how wet the field gets tomorrow during the morning and afternoon. Then some heavy rain and downpours after midnight will linger into a Saturday morning for most of us. So it looks like you'll wet up, wake up to a wet start on Saturday, but by midday, it's gone. The sun breaks out, and the rest of Saturday looks good. How much rain is going to fall? It's another good soaking. You notice here, a rainfall forecast for most spots is about a half an inch to an inch of rain, heaviest of which will come in overnight into very early on Saturday morning. There may even be a rumble of thunder uh, as we head into uh, overnight for many spots. Temperatures tomorrow only in the upper 40s to around 50, so it's going to be a chilly, raw feel overall for the course of the day. And it looks like by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, we're talking about temperatures that will be seasonal. As the sun breaks out, we will turn windy. You're going to notice that on Saturday. Upper 50s for highs. Clouds increase on Sunday, and there'll be a chance of showers late on Sunday. You'll see it in the seven-day forecast, too. Uh, we're talking about kind of the bookends here on the weekend. So wet start Saturday, perhaps wet later on Sunday, but plenty of dry times in between. Sun is out on Monday, and it looks like Tuesday we'll have a threat for some showers returning, Kate.